In this video, I'm going to do another health made easy. I'm going to keep it short. Um, one thing that people take for advantage or don't even think of at all is the power of human connection. And in the world today, we are being separated and divided and we are being told to fear each other. Um, a simple practice that I, when we were traveling around Australia, we did at the end of a presentation, was a, a meditation by the famous Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh. And it's basically a hugging meditation, okay? And I'll tell a little bit of the story behind how it came to be. He's from Vietnam and he's a monk, so it's not really in their custom to to hug people and when he was friends with their oh what's his name Martin Luther King when he was working with Martin Luther King around the Vietnam War the time of the Vietnam War every time he went to the United States when he'd be with Martin Luther King and his team whenever he'd get on a plane back to Vietnam or, or leave his team he said a number of times he would receive hugs from uh, Martin Luther King's team and he said he was just like um, he was like a plank of wood he said he'd be sitting there with his hands in like a, a, a prayer position <laughs> as if to like bow and they would they would give him a hold him they would give him a hug and he said when he'd be on the plane afterwards he'd think to himself I made that person feel awkward because I was so not used to receiving hugs so he wanted to work on it and get better at it and he ended up coming up with a, a practice now I don't suggest you do the full practice unless you're ready for it it's very very powerful meditation and um, what it is is you you get so you get somebody <clears throat> um, especially if you're having challenges with them but even if you're not you get someone in your family and I've, I've made a couple of changes to it as well because um, I suggest moving to the right Okay, so when you both move to the right, because I heard in some indigenous cultures that when you hold somebody, you give someone a hug and you move to the left, it can mean you have a blockage with that person. If you look at like, if you look at like the, I call it the ego hug, you see two men who, who see each other and they, they give the ego hug, they, they sort of go like this with their arm, they, they like two hands, you know, they do the, the, the man handshake, like the high five, and then they curl and put their shoulder into each other, like that's their hug. It's like they're closing their body off and they're going the wrong way. And it's not a hug really, it's just a, you know, yeah, mate, we're watching the UFC tonight type of thing. But uh, if you go to the right hand side and you hold somebody, your heart is on their heart. And then what, what Thich Nhat Hanh suggests is you breathe together. It's so powerful. You, you relax, you surrender into the hug. And you can do this with children, you can do this with your partner, you can do this with your parents, you can do this with your friends, you can do with this anyone. Uh, you just breathe. So you breathe in together and you take at least three conscious breaths together. After you've taken three conscious breaths together, what Thich Nhat Hanh says, which again, if you're not ready for it, it, it might sound a bit, you know, I've, I've shared this with people and they haven't liked the idea of it, which is fair enough, but what he said to do is, you internally say to yourself, I'm alive, this person, whether it's your wife or whatever, is alive, and we're both alive. And then you take a deep breath, and then you, in the next, the next round you say, I'm alive, and this person is dead, okay? And you feel what that feels like. Then the next breath you say, I am dead, this person is alive. And you, 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 you be with that, you both do this, okay? You both do this. And then the, the last one, you take a deep breath and you say, I am alive and this person's alive. And after you've done that practice, uh, the last time you do it, you, there's, a, there's a whole new appreciation for life, for this present moment with this person, whether they've harmed you, hurt you, whether you, you've challenged you, whether you don't even know them. It's a very, very powerful practice. But if you're not ready to do that, which is fine, what we did after the presentations was so simple. 
we'd move to the right hand side, we'd hold each other heart over heart, we'd take at least three conscious breaths together, which in itself is very powerful, and then we would each tell each other that we love them. It's very powerful just being able to hold someone completely surrendered, relaxed, and say to that person, I love you. Not from here, because sometimes I have I've done, I've held people at the end of a presentation, I can tell that they're up here, and they're like, they're still a bit stiff, and they're breathing a bit funny, and they, uh, they say, oh, I love you, I love you, it's just, it's all here. But when you breathe together and you relax, you move into the heart space, and saying you love someone and feeling that person, another life in your arms, is very, very powerful. And why am I putting it in as a health made easy? Because when we move into heart coherence, the body releases over 1,300 life-affirming chemicals in the body. So creating heart coherence for one person is beautiful. Institutes of Heart Math have proven that uh, the heart field goes 8 to 10 feet outside the body. They believe it goes further, <clears throat> but they can't measure it. So you get two heart spaces together. Doesn't matter what you're going through. Doesn't matter what with the trauma, doesn't matter if you're anxiety, if you've got anxiety or what you're stressed with. If you can come fully present with somebody, you know, or if or if you, your son or your daughter's really suffering, or they've just split up with their partner, or there's grieving in the family, if you can hold someone, share the present moment space, share love, hold each other, breathe together, and let two heart spaces come into coherence. And let the heart field amplify nourish your surroundings your family this community it's such a powerful practice okay you know it's such a powerful practice and what happens is something really profound happens the world right now is downgrading their their uh, existence this this reality is infinite literally okay we uh, only see 0.013%, uh, 0.003% of the reality out there. 99.129 um, is an atom, is empty space. Well, there's 50 trillion cells in the body, each with the electro electrical potential of 1.17 volts. Okay, you start to understand that 98.5% of our DNA is considered junk DNA. In the, as far as scientists are concerned because it's untapped DNA, it's not junk, nature doesn't waste anything. Therefore we are running on empty and while we're watching the news and being afraid of everyone, we are downgrading our system and when we downgrade our energy, our vibration, our system into incoherence, we create sickness, dis-ease, okay, so, and, then, and then we move into fear. What does fear do? Instead of wanting to hold your kids, you're afraid of them. Instead of wanting to hold your grandparents, you're afraid of them. It's, it's literally insane, okay? Whereas when we can hold each other and feel love and drop fear, fearless, we are now upgrading our system, raising our frequency and vibration. You understand? tapping into more of our potential and you feel it you don't have to just think this is happening you go and do this practice you hold a loved one you breathe together you tell each other you love each other you surrender to each other it is a powerful tangible experience incredible spiritual experience so make this a part of your daily practice as your health made easy, not just about changing your diet, okay? Because diet, what goes in your mouth, is still matter. Matter can change matter, I get it, okay? That's, that's why I made these videos. But emotional state, okay, it's, it's a next level up. It's a higher frequency and vibration. So when we move into higher states, this is also what the placebo effect is. Placebo has a strong effect over matter because it's a belief okay it's a it's a uh, it's an emotion over the matter and energy moves matter so yes eat the right foods drink the right water 
all the other things I've mentioned that that I use that you can use. You know, add supplements if you're not having them, if you if you're deficient in them. Uh, uh, expose yourself to natural light and the sun, or everything I've shared. But also try this practice. It's a beautiful, profound practice. And I'd love to hear your feedback as well. If you can do this in a group setting, as I said, after a presentation, you know, you have a group, 15, up to like 50 people, uh, all practice and hugging each other, three, three breaths, and then they'd move to the next person. So powerful. See people just crying, overwhelmed with love. Yeah, and that's where we want to go. That's the direction to go. It's not fear. So take care. I love you all. Bye-bye.